This is a test of the Rode VideoMic Go from one foot away. This is one meter away. This is two meters away. This is three meters away. And this is six meters away. This is a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus from one foot away without any of the extra button settings on the microphone. This is at about one meter away. This is at about two meters away. This is three meters away. This is six meters away. This is a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus from one foot away with all the extra recommended settings. This is about one meter. This is at two meters. This is at three meters away. And this is at about six meters away. So right off the bat there, you could just tell that the Pro Plus without any of the settings on it was a little bit bassier than either the Rode VideoMic Go or the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the extra settings on it because one of those is to roll off the bass a little bit. So if you want more like bass in your voice, I guess you could just use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and just leave that there, leave it as is. And yeah, the Rode VideoMic Go actually did not sound that bad sound quality wise, but where it does fail is, you hear that? Oh, there it is. That noise makes this Rode video mic go completely unusable in some circumstances. And it's just a real shame that the thing that's supposed to stabilize it is what ends up creating more noise. So for that reason, I had to upgrade to the Pro. And I definitely think it's worth the money. And I wish I would have bought that one first. Oh, I hate it so much. It is that distinguishable difference that makes the Rode video mic Pro that much better for use. And that's not even including all the other features that make it so much better, like the plus 20 dB function that lets you utilize more of the microphone's quality and the filters, which can cut out some extra noise from air conditioning so you don't have to do that in the post-processing stage. Overall, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus is just like a way better package. The stabilization doesn't create extra noise. You have those other features in case you need them, in case there's a noisy background or some low him that you can't turn off and overall it's just it's just so much better if the road video might go didn't have those problems if you move the camera too much or just like there's a little bit of extra shake to it then it'll make that noise and it'll just ruin the audio and you'll have to do another take so i guess if all of your shots are the camera is completely still then that's fine but if you move the camera around a lot while you're also recording audio you're definitely gonna want the Pro Plus or at least another shotgun microphone that doesn't have the problem that the Go has.